Bowling for Soup is an American rock band known for their catchy pop-punk tunes and witty lyrics. Formed in 1994 in Wichita Falls, Texas, the band quickly gained popularity with their humorous and relatable songs. Capturing the hearts of fans around the world, let's take a detailed look at the journey of Bowling for Soup and the key moments that shaped their career. Early Days the band's origins trace back to high school when Jarrett Reddick led vocals. Guitar and his friend Chris Burney Guitar, backing vocals, formed Bowling for Soup as a way to express their love for music and escape the challenges of adolescence. They were later joined by Eric Chandler at Eofre. Backing vocals and Lance Morrill drums, the band took its name from a comedy act by Steve Martin and quickly began playing shows in local clubs and bars. Breakthrough with Drunk Enough to Dance, after gaining regional popularity, Bowling for Soup signed with Jive Records and released their breakthrough album, Drunk Enough to Dance, in 2002. The album's lead single, Girl All the Bad Guys Want, became a massive hit, earning the band a Grammy Award nomination for Best Pop Performance by a Duo or Group. The album's success propelled Bowling for Soup into the mainstream, and they embarked on extensive tours to promote their music. Continued success! Building on their newfound fame, Bowling for Soup released subsequent albums, each adding to their success. Albums like A Hangover, You Don't Deserve 2004, and The Great Burrito Extortion Case 2006 showcased the band's signature blend of humor, pop punk, and relatable lyrics. Songs like 1985 almost, and High School Never Ends became anthems for a generation resonating with listeners young and old. Diverse projects. In addition to their studio albums, Bowling for Soup embraced various creative projects. They contributed songs to popular soundtracks like Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, and Chicken Little. Furthermore, the band wrote and performed the theme song for the hit TV show Phineas and Ferb, further expanding their reach to younger audiences. Loyal fan base and lit performances. Bowling for Soup's engaging and high-energy live performances solidified their reputation as a must-see band. They continue to tour extensively, connecting with their fans on a personal level. Their live shows often featured playful banter and audience participation, making every concert a unique and memorable experience. Later years and continued releases, as the band evolved, their albums showcased growth while maintaining the charm that endeared them to fans. Albums like Fishin' for Woos, 2011 and Lunch. Drunk. Love 2013 demonstrated Bowling for Soup's ability to evolve their sound while staying true to their root, legacy, and impact. Bowling for Soup's contributions to the pop punk genre and their consistent engagement with their fan base have earned them a dedicated following. They've left an enduring impact on the music industry inspiring future generations of bands and musicians. Their infectious melodies and humorous lyrics continue to resonate with audiences, creating a lasting legacy in the world of rock music. Conclusion. Bowling for Soup's journey from a small town band to international pop punk icons is a testament to their talent, hard work, and the power of relatable storytelling in music. With their witty lyrics and catchy tunes, Bowling for Soup remains a beloved band cherished by fans worldwide, proving that a little humor and a lot of heart can go a long way in the world of music.